Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about something that um, we're actually focused on in Crown Capital. It's one of our investment tranches. We've talked before about the reindustrialization of America, but we also think there's going to be a big infrastructure play. We looked at several companies in this space. We're looking at one right now that um, hauls oversized tractor loads. So big cement pillars used for bridges, things like that. Um, a lot of times now what they'll do is actually manufacture these big cement pillars or pour the concrete off-site and then drag those pillars across to where the bridge is that needs to be rebuilt. And that requires then less downtime for the bridge itself and makes it a more efficient process. So lots of those infrastructure plays we're looking at now, but to give you some numbers around that, $4.6 trillion of investment needed in the United States to get us from our current D plus rating to a B rating, just to a B, we take $4.6 trillion. $473 billion in drinking water infrastructure alone spend according to the EPA for the next 20 years, right? Over 20 years, we're going to spend that much to get our drinking water and standards. $836 billion in roads and bridges. Federal spending has gone down over the last 35 years. It's gone down from 1% of GDP down to a half percent of GDP. So the Fed's going to have to step in and bridge that gap a little bit. Um, they've had other spending things on their mind uh, lately, but they're going to bridge that gap. Now, it was one of the Trump campaign promises. We'll see what happens after 2020, but we really think that after 2020, there will be a spending bill no matter who's in office, right? If it's the Democrats, they will push through a spending bill, and if it's the Republicans, they will also get through a spending bill. We think they will work together to get that done because it's needed. They don't want to give Trump a win for 2020, but after 2020, no matter who's in office, right, you can get a package. So just as a kind of corollary, in 2018, 12% of all jobs were from infrastructure. We expect that to go up. And it actually looks similar to the industrial jobs in America, right? 11% of industrial jobs, um, or 11% of the jobs in America are industrial jobs, these uh, factories and manufacturing. So we like this space. We're looking at companies right now, several in this space, and we expect to have uh, a pretty heavy investment in this space over the next six months.